All right, guys, welcome to another battle featuring Medieval Europe. Maybe I should be the one on that side of the river uh, based on where this battle was fought, but we're coming at you with a battle from Great Britain, the Battle of Sark. Uh, so following the wars for Scottish independence, uh, battles over the border between England and Scotland continued, <laughs> unfortunately. And uh, throughout those kind of border skirmishes ongoing, there was a particular Scottish family who gained a lot of power, the uh, Douglases. They, they were the ones descended from Black Douglas, who was a uh, major ally of uh, Robert the Bruce um, following the death of William Wallace. Well, uh, England has come to settle some land disputes here uh, under King Henry VI, not very well remembered in Shakespearean literature, but uh, certainly worked hard to uh, solidify a, a official border between Scotland and England. Well, here at the Battle of Sark, Henry VI, English troops led by, I think, the Earl of Pembroke, if I remember right, um, or maybe the Earl of Northumberland, Duke of Northumberland. Uh, anyway, the English troops did not do a good job of uh, picking a place to have a battle. Uh, they met near a tidal estuary, aka a river. Um, while it was a low tide, they were not aware that it was a tidal estuary, so they formed up their battle lines. The Scottish uh, kind of had a little bit of a skirmish with the English longbowmen, then decided they didn't want to just spend all day getting shot at from afar. So the Scottish infantry charged in, and <clears throat> right at the climax of the battle, high tide rolled in, the river swelled, the English troops tried to escape, and ended up mostly drowning in the river. And only a few English troops managed to survive, including the commander of the battlefield, but not including his son. Uh, his son got captured while helping his dad escape. So it was a pretty crushing defeat for the English. Um, so we've got our, our Scottish infantry moving in now. We do have our own archers throwing some arrows into the mix, but uh, for the most part, I think we've already won this battle as the English infantry try to get in here. Their cavalry are still in the back. I think they're just now considering joining the fight. You can see them moving in across the river. Maybe at uh, about middle tide right now. By the way, uh, Tidal Estuary is uh, essentially a river that, instead of flowing into an ocean, flows out of an ocean. Um, it's when uh, water from the ocean moves into a shore, um, usually if the elevation is lower than sea level. Um, the, the water, like from you know, a tide, will, will fill up that depression. Uh, and so it's like a river that can rise and lower with the tide. Uh, it's the same with how the Hudson River works, at least the part of the Hudson around New York City. Um, so the, the Hudson River by New York City will rise and fall with, uh, with the tide. Uh, same with the Sark, the River Sark, which is the, the river from this battle. Looks like the English commander trying what he can, but his infantry are just getting cracked out there by the Scottish infantry. I don't even think I've moved in my commander yet. I think I'm just using him to run down routing troops. As arrows continue to fly out there, I do think some of the English longbowmen are trying to get some shots off, but they are getting targeted down by my own archers. English commander, I think he's finally considering beating a hasty retreat. He's just trying to, can't tell if he's trying to just break my infantry or just break an opening for him to escape. 
But I think the last of the English infantry have fallen into retreat. And we are running. Oh, there we go. Maybe that was the, uh, the commander's son got captured there. The English commander has gone down. His bodyguard continuing to fight as my infantry swarm the remaining English troops. Well, we are coming up near the end of the battle, guys. Looks like the English cavalry just broke. Uh, so if you liked this battle, feel free to hit the like button. If you want to see more battles from medieval Europe, let me know in the comments below which ones you want to see. Otherwise, uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the juicy battles and other cool videos we make here. Archers uh, getting shot at by my archers as they try to escape. I don't know where my cavalry is at. Maybe that's them way back there. Oh yeah, that's them way back there just running down troops. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to just about do it for the battle. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on a future battlefield. It's just like so many English got captured. The poor souls drowned in the river.